J2 Psycho here and it's Trials Tuesday where basically I'm going to have a series here on my channel where either I, we, or he will sound off or pontificate or just general rant about something that's on our mind or bothering us lately. And our very first one is all about Meet the Teacher Night! Yay! Yay! In honor of the fact that our kids go back to school tomorrow, we did get to um, enjoy or endure, whichever one you would like to call it, Meet the Teacher Night at Junior High here. So we have some beautiful things to rant and pontificate about and hopefully maybe share some tips to make Meet the Teacher Night less stressful and more enjoyable for you. So. It's actually good we heard about Meet the Teacher Night to begin with. Yeah, in our case, we actually didn't really get a lot of communication about it. And we were just lucky because when we happened to be on campus for something else, uh, we happened to see it up on the marquee. There was no letter about it. And if you hadn't just happened to be signing on to the website every single day over summer break, you would never have known that Meet the Teacher Night was the night before. But apparently it's a secret language in which it happens the night before school starts every year. But if you're new to a school district or new to a school, you wouldn't have that information already. So yay for communication schools. Anyways, so the very Event first- number one. Well, okay, so I was going to say the very first thing I was going to talk about is the parking issue, but obviously communication leading up to Meet the Teacher Night um, is probably event number one. So if you are a parent of a student and you're going back to school, try to figure out when Meet the Teacher Night is because it's not always the same. Sometimes it's the night before school starts. Sometimes, like our high schooler, it's after school's been going for two or three weeks. Yes. And it's combined with like curriculum night or um, activity night or something like that. And in some really lucky cases, you get Meet the Teacher Night like a week before school starts. So that you even get the advantage of getting a school shopping list ahead of time so that you can be actually prepared for the first day of school, which is a great concept. But anyways. Who'd have thought? Yeah. So um, one of the first things that I would say is try to arrive early if you can. We totally backfired on this one because we thought, you know what, it's an open house. It goes for an hour and a half open house style and it goes from 6 until 7.30. We won't show up right when the hordes of everyone are showing up right at 6 or even 10 minutes to 6 like everyone else. We'll come maybe like 20 minutes into the open house period. That way some people will have been able to file in and we'll be filing out and we're gonna be super smart and get parking. How did that work out for us? <laughs> no, it's a bad sign when the police close off the one entrance to the school right as you're pulling up to turn in and you have to figure out a back way around. Yeah. And then you have to drive around and keep away from the people that are parking in the fire zone. Mm-hmm. And uh, it, it was fun. Yeah, so on that note, Follow the rules and the laws associated with being a commuter in your city or town. And just because you're there for an event that is oh so special because little Johnny or Susie is having meet the teacher night and you've got to hurry up and get in there, doesn't mean that you can park in the red fire lane zone. Or turn up onto a curb into a dirt parking lot just in the middle of the road where there's no entrance either, stopping the flow of traffic. And just making your own parking wherever you want to make your own parking. So anyways, on that note, make sure you plan ahead to at least either get there early and have parking or just know that parking in general is going to be a nightmare because with the exception of the high schools, no public school that I know of is going to have enough parking to substantiate all of the staff, over 50 teachers, administrators, and support staff that are gonna be on campus. And um, for our kids junior high, there's over 1,200 students that it services for seventh and eighth grade and all of their family. And I guarantee you, not everybody always comes in the same car. That's another tip. Yes. Drive in one car, plan accordingly if you work, come home early. Yes, if you have the opportunity, and I know that not everybody's family situation is the same, and maybe someone's just trying to be involved at the last minute and wants to just show up and put their FaceTime in or whatever, but if you can, please try to all drive in the same car for everybody's sake. Only take up the amount of space that you require. Just think about all of the thousands of people that are trying to get in and out at the same time as you, and just be respectful of that. So. I have a tip for PTOs too. There oh. might be a good chance for people to like volunteer to coordinate parking too, because 
Otherwise, it's a big cluster and everybody's almost hitting everybody and going wrong ways and one ways and parking in red zones and driving up onto dirt that probably isn't supposed to be used for parking. So maybe a PTO, that'd be a good opportunity for you to get your faces shown first. Oh, that's a great idea. Especially when the city shows up 25 minutes into your event and starts directing traffic. I'm sure that either costs a pretty penny or makes somebody pretty upset. So you need to actually be coordinating these kinds of events when you know you're going to have a mass arrival of thousands of people within a very small time frame and you know that you just don't have the capacity for parking or space in general at the very minimum communicate 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 to people ahead of time what they can expect the direction they should be driving where, where the alternative they... parking is if the lot is full that that kind of stuff exactly communication and email it takes five seconds we all have you know mobile phones almost everybody gets those things use a text update and say hey go on the website and get updates so that you can be prepared for open house just send some communication or something so that we can all make it an easier night for everyone involved <sighs> Gosh, <laughs> I'm just getting ramped that was up. Point, that was point one. I don't even want to get ramped up about it because the point is to like kind of just get this all out and to not be ramped up about it anymore. But now I feel like the more that I'm talking about it, like the more upset I'm getting about it. Anyways. Which is a great way to meet your child's teacher walking in after that crazy experience. Exactly. I mean, you kind of have to think about the fact that meet the teacher, it, as stressful as it is for you, after already having to deal with a parking nightmare and other people being disrespectful and taking up more space than they're, they, everyone is all just very self-centered at this taking time. Taking your life into your own hands and hoping you don't get hit in the parking lot by somebody who's not paying attention. So if you can imagine as the adult, the stress that you're feeling and then the waves of stress that you're now sending over your kids who they've got their own little stresses going on going do I have so and so in my class what teacher am I going to have do I have all of my stuff school starts tomorrow and all of the stresses that they have and you pile on your own emotional stress of stuff that you can just let slide and be patient and have kindness and you know just offer grace in situations like that it will just make the night more nerve soothing and less nerve wracking for your kid. And that's kind of the whole point of it. The whole point of meet the teacher is so that they can meet the teacher. And really, that's it. That's all you're supposed to be doing. That was good. Did you just come up with that? Nerve yeah. soothing, nerve wracking? Yeah, I that's did. That's brilliant. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, that, that's that. when I think about what meet the teacher night was supposed to be for me when I was a kid, it was so that I had a face. So I knew what I was walking into so that I could go into the classroom and kind of look around and observe my surroundings and see where it was I was going to be spending the next couple of months of my life and just kind of have that before walking in totally blind on day one. So so we're in from the parking lot now. Yes. We're walking through the gate. Yeah. Into the chaos that is the sea of people. Yes. And every open house is going to be a different situation because elementary school is going to be different, junior high is going to be dif different, and high school is going to be different. Obviously, we're in the junior high and the high school mode, so probably some of these tips won't apply to you, but eventually they will because if you've got elementary kids students that you are taking to open houses, they're going to be junior hires and they're going to be high schoolers and you're going to be dealing with this one day too, so take heed. Know where you're going. Having printed off your kid's schedule and brought it with you, big plus. That means you won't have to go to the office and stand in your very first long, obscenely long line and waste give, valuable time. I will give kudos to the school that, that if you went to the pre-event, the, the days where they give you your schedule and they help you sign up for everything, they did put a map on the back of the schedule. Yes. Which was, that was a good move by the school because especially if you're brand new to the school, that's like you walk in this huge campus and you have no idea which hall's which. Our schools, might, you know, labeled hall A through hall J or K or whatever. And unless you have a map, you have no idea where those room numbers are going to be. So that was a kudos to the school on that one. Yeah. So. Yeah, they did good. And, um, you know, in our case, we were just happy to let our student, um, our son, our student, whatever. Our student. We just let him kind of guide us to where he wanted to go. Um, uh, he was an eighth grader this year, so he was already familiar with the campus. It wasn't like we really needed to be helicoptery or anything like that. And I had to pull in my reins because, of course, I wanted to be time efficient and I wanted to hit the st hit the teachers in the order of where we were standing around campus. But my that'll drive my, your OCD nuts. Yeah, you're like, no, the room we need to go to seventh is right there. Can we just go there first? Yes, but of course, on a campus that is like a triangle, his first class is here, and next class here, and next class here, and next class here, and next class here. It's all the way around, 
and he wants to use the opportunity to go in the order that he's going to have to walk. And Engage I can't his walking time and everything. Yeah, I totally appreciate that. And this is a night for him too. So I really had to rein in my, you know, helicopter you know, let's do it this way. Let's be efficient, efficient, and just kind of go with the flow the way he wanted it. And that was really good. Um, you know, so don't forget your child's needs and that this night is really for them to, again, what? Meet their teacher. Meet the teacher. Okay. So we walk up to the classrooms and there's lines of like 40 kids long, which you'd think is just because, well, there's a lot of kids in the school, but ultimately it's because of how the people in the line behave. Yes. At the teacher. We may not have encountered those lines if they had a few tips. Mm hmm My first thing when I walk into a classroom is I use these two things and I look around because a lot of times the questions that you think you might have for a teacher at the end of that obnoxiously long line are going to be answered in your classroom environment already because most teachers, even mediocre ones, will already have something up on the whiteboard that kind of shows what their daily schedule is going to be like. Um, most of them uh, will already have their textbooks on the shelves so you can kind of get an idea of what's the curriculum look like and how heavy of the book is my kid going to be put, putting in their backpack and lugging around. For people with younger kids, they might already have names on the desk so that your kid can find their own desk. Yeah. Um, you can get a, you can get so much information from just looking around the classroom. Some teachers will put post-it notes up with our items that they would like from their wish list. So you can just snag down a post-it real quick. You don't have to sit there and gab with them about what would you like. And everybody knows what the teachers want. They always want Kleenex. They always want Clorox wipes. They always want hand sanitizer. Those are no-brainers. Just bring them with you on Meet the Teacher Night and leave them on the desk. Copy paper. Yes. Another one. Copy paper. I mean, it's not... <laughs> It's all the normal stuff if you just want an idea. Those are not questions that you should need to be filling up in this time frame. Some people might, some teachers might even have something on the board where they tell you an expectation. So if there's forms that you pick up, you may not have to say, oh, do I need to fill this out now? Or what do I need to do? It might say, please bring form back by Friday. So you don't have to spend the time talking to a teacher about, well, how do I fill this form out? And when does it do? And all these things. So look for the answers before you need to ask the question. Yes. Just use your powers of observation because a lot of times you're going to get so much information from just looking around you. And then um, you might even be, you know, in a great, great classroom in which the teacher has a PowerPoint running to entertain you while you stand <laughs> in line to say to them, which is going to provide you with even more information and answers to questions that you might come up with while you're standing in line. So just pay attention to what's going on around you. and what's, just What's PowerPoint? PowerPoint? Nobody uses PowerPoint anymore, do they? Well, the public schools still do. Oh. <laughs> anyway. they put it on a fancy whiteboard, the touchscreen board that you can use now. Yeah, some yeah. of them do. <sighs> Breathe. So hey, what so you're I in really line with your teachers. What I really liked that Jace is really, really good at is he's good at that personal stuff, and he's good at kind of leaving a first impression of our family um, and our kids. For good or bad. <laughs> no, and I use, and I honestly, I always think that it's for the better because, especially in our younger son's case, you know, he gets that syndrome of being so and so's brother instead of just being the kid that you know is. Oh, hi, what's your name? He always kind of, especially you see the last name, and they say, "Oh, you're his brother." Yeah, That's and right. so um, you kind of want to have you know a different kind of. Um, identifier associated with it and you know our family is kind of unique jason's really tall and bald and has hey, a goatee so he's memorable I do it on purpose right <laughs> his physical attributes are always very memorable people are always just kind of like hey i know you and I get, I get my social stuff though again from looking around the classroom yeah find something that's going to be that first connector where are they from what sports team do they like what it's a social studies class, what per periods of history are all over the wall that might be what your kids are going to study. Mm -hmm. Just something that can give you something to say to the teacher, except for, oh, hi, and then stand there with a deer, like a deer in the headlights, staring at them until they have some fabulous piece of wisdom to share. Yep. I guess basically the main thing is, is once you've stood in that line and you finally get your moment in front of that teacher, you get your face time. The moment with the teacher. It has arrived. We made it. Hallelujah. I thought going to have to talk to the teacher was a bad thing. No, not on Meet the Teacher Night. Oh, because you're, I see, because you're supposed to meet the teacher. Yeah, because okay. that's what it is. It's just meet the teacher. Meet the teacher? Yeah. Converse with the teacher for three hours? No, definitely not. It's just meet the teacher. There's nobody else there that needs to meet the teacher, though. It's just you, right? 
Um, well, your student, your student needs to meet the teacher. Well, I mean, your family. Let's, I mean, there's yeah. no other families there. It's just you, right? Right. There's definitely not a thousand other people milling around the entire campus. So I campus. can just talk about from when he was born until where we're at now then. Yeah, yeah, that'd be so a great... So get a full history of my student. That would be actually the absolute wrong time wrong in time. which to have that type of conversation. The wrong time. In fact, you know, we could actually demonstrate the way that kind of like a meet the teacher might, you know, like through teacher? role play. You want to be the teacher? I want to be the teacher. Okay. All right. So here I am. I was never smart enough to be the teacher, so. Okay. Well, you can you can be the teacher here. So let's just go ahead Hello. and Hello. Hi. I'm Mr. Blah, blah, blah. Hi, Mr. Blah, blah, blah. I'm so-and-so's mom. Oh. So and nice so -and -so's, to meet you. Oh, that's so-and-so's brother. Yeah, 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 yeah. So. All right. Well, and so-and-so, which class do you have so-and-so's teacher, Mr. Blah Blah, for? Third period, huh? Oh, really? Okay, well, that's great. So, it looks like you're from Indiana because you like the Colts, huh? That's true. All right, football's in just a couple of weeks. Looking forward to it. Awesome. You have a great beginning of school. Okay, All you right. too. See you later. Bye. Bye. That's about how long Meet the Teacher should last, okay? But I didn't even talk about, like, his birth and the, the gory details of my student's birth and how everything went when he was little and his developmental milestones over the first three years. And mm -hmm. I didn't talk about any of that stuff though. Mm -hmm. When's he going to figure that out? Mm -mm. Uh, what you're going to do is if you have specific student information that you need to pass on to your child's teacher, you're going to schedule a one-on-one -on -one time, especially if it's anything gory or personal or HIPAA related or private. Anything like that, you don't want to Embarrassing do... Embarrassing for your student, for other people to hear? Exactly. Sort of Probably wouldn't be the best time to stand with 30 people standing behind you, in which there's a time frame of an hour and a half only, to see six different teachers... This is not the time to have that kind of event. That would probably work if everyone didn't take a half an hour each to talk to the teachers. Yeah, it should basically be a meet the teacher parade. <laughs> it should just be a... Hello, <sighs> and the teacher should just be going like this, like a princess. Yes, yes. And it's not always the teacher's fault. Some teachers are just so personable that they also take a lot of time and they encourage. And when you get one of those teachers and you get one of those parents... It's just a nightmare for everybody else standing in line. Have you, ever, have you ever seen that teacher, though, that's given the look to the rest of the line like, sorry. Yes. Oh, I'm so can sorry. I, can I get rid of them? Somebody come in here and fake a fire drill or something. Yes. And there are, you know, social cues that you can pick up on somebody, um, like when they start nodding or when they start stopping making eye contact with you. When they start looking at the people behind you or looking at their watch. Mm -hmm. Maybe that's it's time to move on. Wrap it up. Wrap, wrap, wrap it up. So basically, you want to kiss it. And I know yeah. that you can say a lot of different things that could be vulgar or rude, but basically, you want to just keep it short and sweet. So that is our tips then. Um, so in a nutshell, arrive early. Uh, plan for parking nightmares. Be considerate of your fellow man. Make the experience nerve-soothing, not nerve-wracking. And kiss it. Keep it short and sweet. So those are our tips for a successful Meet the Teacher Night. Yep. And that actually kind of turned into kind of a little nice, little friendly tip-giving vlog here. Um, it is our Trial Tuesday where we just want to use it as a space and a time where we have an opportunity to rant and sound off about things. And time to get, breathe now. Yeah. <sighs> Good chance to get some stuff off our chest and... You know, we all have things in life that don't really um, make us the happiest of people, but we always have Thursday to look forward to. Why about Thursday? Thursday on our blog channel is Thankful Thursday, where we're going to do a sister or brother series to Trials Tuesday, and we make sure that we share some of the things that we are um, grateful for, appreciative, and just talk about the blessings in our life. So, so our channel's not just whining and griping the whole time? No, our channel is not just whining and griping all the time. Oh, we're There's thankful be... sometimes too? Yeah. Oh. Okay. Yeah. We want to share that with you guys. We want to make sure that we highlight that. So maybe you can share with us the things that you're grateful to. But anyways, comment down below some things about open house or meet the teacher night or whatever that have kind of gotten under your skin or any tips that you want to share. Yep. Comment below. <laughs> and check back in. To do that. Are you ready now? I'm ready for what? 
to like wrap it up. Oh, are we gonna? Oh, I'm not keeping it so short and simple. No, you're not. You're not. Okay, check back in on th on Thursday for Thankful Thursday. See you later. Bye. Ma 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 ma. Don't look yourself over there so much. You have to look here.